Hey y'all, Editing Kimberly here. Welcome to my channel, A Chance to Sparkle. I hope everyone is doing very well today. It is finally here, the third and final installment on my series on how to create your very own travel art portfolio. I hope you've enjoyed the series so far. If you have, please give me a big fat thumbs up and let me know anything that you want to down below or you can ask any questions. Uh, now before we get started, I want to say I'm sorry this did take longer than expected to get this video out to you, but sometimes my body has other plans for me, and this was one of those times. So I was a little incapacitated for the last couple of days and wasn't able to get this video edited and uploaded to YouTube. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Let's talk to you later, guys. Okay, I went ahead and set up for the next piece. What I have done is I've taken the Galaxy tape and I've laid it down three times, overlapping it by almost half. Whoops, did not mean to do that. There, turned out one of my lights almost. But overlapping it by almost half. Did it once, laid it down once, and then overlapped by half, and laid down a second one, and then overlapped by about half, and laid down a third one. So we have a about two and a half wide piece of tape. See, so it's about a little over two wide, maybe about two and a quarter wide piece of tape. And this is why I needed the extra cutting mat because my first cutting mat is not quite wide enough to do this. Then we're going to lift it up carefully and try not to let it stick to itself. And try not to lose our piece. Okay, come on. Let go. There we go. Okay. Bring our piece a little closer. And we are going to lay this down on here at about... Oh, I did stick it to itself. Right on the corner. We're going to lift that back up without making too much of a mess. Come on. This is exactly why I have not done my nails yet because I knew I'd be messing with tape and probably just wrecking my nails. So my nails look horrible and that's because I knew this was coming. That should have been redone about a week ago. So we're going to put it about, well, about a full sheet up. About right there, I think. Lay it down. And don't worry about any overlapping right now. Then we're going to flip it over. So we're going to need to stick that up there just a little ways. And we're going to go ahead and cut another piece that will be about the same length. Just one piece though. Lay it down on your mats and cut it. Just eyeball it and cut it at about the same length. If you're a little long, it's okay. If you're a little short, that's probably going to be okay too. And set that tape back to the side. Now we're going to turn this this way and pick up our other half. And we're going to lay it down to where there is just a little bit in between the two. Let's get it up against the bottom so that we know we've got it straight. And decide about how much of a lip you want so that you can put more than just a diamond painting in here if you want to. Or you can put several diamond paintings in here. But figure out just how big you want it. Hold on to your handle because it's probably going to need to be out of the way. 
going to lay that down as straight as possible. And reach out and try to make sure it's touching down there. And then we're going to pick up this piece. And it is going to go in the center here. And I do not have it very straight right there. Don't know if you can see that, but we're going to try and fix that before we try and lay this piece down. This side is not as straight as we would like it. I might go ahead and fix this offline, off camera. That way I'm not taking up too much of your time. So hold on just a minute. Okay, I straightened that up so it's about the same distance all the way down. Just a really narrow amount. And it's not going to be much wider than this is. So hold on just a minute. I'm going to get it set up again. But I just wanted to show you that I've got it more straight. Hold on just a minute. Okay, I wanted to go ahead and get the tape up so that we would have it ready. And I basically had to stand this up and eyeball it standing up in order to get it more straight. Anyway, we're going to take this piece and we're going to start laying it down the middle, making sure that we are getting it down. To cover up that center part. Let me actually turn it this way. And start it on one side and then finish it on the other side. So you want it really close to the edge right there. We can lay down more tape if we have to later. But put that down, fold it back. Then you're going to fold this edge up because you're going to want this to lay down in the channel. And then fold the second edge up so that you're closing it up. And you're going to get that piece down in there as tightly as possible so that you can have as nice of a like channel in the middle as you can. So now I've shown you that. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. But you want it touching the tape down in there, but you still want the bottom of this piece to actually seal to the tape that's on the outside. So you've got those two pieces touching and there's enough room for me to fold this up, but there's not enough room underneath the camera for me to fold it up. So I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'll come back and show you how it looks like in the middle. So hold on just a moment. Okay, I am back. This is it in the middle, all put together. And you can see that you can fold it up and it ends up being a folded portfolio. And it's got a nice little extra piece down the bottom side so that you can put multiple items in the middle. It's still going to be wide enough to put multiple items in the middle. Now, what you're going to want to do is, because there are raw edges on the ends, you're going to want to take another piece and cut it and wrap it around the ends. So let's go ahead and cut us a couple of short pieces. They don't have to be too long. About five or so inches long, maybe. There's one. And I'm going to show me doing this side, and then I'll do the other side off camera. You're basically just going to lay it down right here and wrap it around to the other side right there and put it down nice and tightly so that you have covered up that raw edge right there and there's no uh, sticky tape that will attach itself to your painting or anything. So I'm going to do the other side off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, now I've put down the tape on the other side. We have no raw edges showing. Now you need to decide how to uh, set your portfolio up to be closed. Um, you can just put you a piece across the middle right here and not worry about the outside edges, um, but you do run the risk of stuff falling out the sides depending on how you carry it. Um, you could just close up one side. Um, I would not close it up permanently. That's why I'm going to show you how to Velcro it. 
but for right now we're going to create the flap that will go up here closing this side and then we'll create the outside edges. I'm going to set this to the side. I'm going to pull out my purple tape because that's what I'm going to do this part in. Let's get it started. And the first piece that I'm going to do, I'm going to want about a probably a four or five inch flap. So the first piece I'm going to do, I am going to lay it down and try to measure it out. without getting it all nasty and wrinkled. Okay. Here we go, that's better. And I'm gonna need a piece that hangs over on the first end and the second end. So this first piece I'm gonna do just about the entire length. And I'm going to cut it off. Now I'm going to cut another piece. There's not going to be as long as this one by a couple of inches. That's about what one, two, three, four inches less, and cut it off. Now I'm going to pick this up. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to make that twice as wide. Yeah. I'm going to make this twice as wide. I'm just overlapping a little bit. And I'm probably very off because I am not good with straight, doing straight lines. But I am going to cut this off right here so that it is almost flush with the one inch mark. Now I'm going to carefully pick this up. Don't need that. It started with my exacto knife and then Finish peeling it up. And I'm going to lay it upside down, which is not an easy feat to do without doing exactly like what I just did and making it fold. It's not an easy thing to do and get it off unstuck from your fingers or your fingernails either but it eventually will let go there we go now lift this piece up and we're going to put it somewhere down the middle of the other piece as straight as we can possibly get it knocking my light around with a little bit of an overhang at the top let's see and a whole lot of overhang on the other side just commit when you decide where you where it's going to go commit and drop because that's going to be the easiest way you're going to be able to get it with as few lines as possible now we're going to do like we did earlier and we're going to cut out corners I'm 
trying not to make it stick to itself. Just on this one side. Oh, come on. I hate cutting tape upside down like that because it never cuts well. Okay, and then I'm also going to cut right along here. Because we're going to need all of this tape down here on the other end for something else. Okay, now we can fold this in over this piece. Try not to make any creases. Fold that piece in. And then we're going to fold this piece down. And cut off this little excess piece right here that's kind of in the way. And then to make this side look pretty, because this side is going to be on the outside, I'm going to cut one more piece of the purple tape. to make it the same length as what you have here or a little less don't have to be the exact length because you don't have to go over the edge you just want to make it as close as possible this is going to be your strap at the top and of course I had to make it stick right there Thank goodness it didn't stick hard. And you want to get this as lined up as possible. So take your time doing that part right there as best you can. So you try not to have too much of a raw edge sticking out on either side. That way this looks like a nice, pretty little piece right there okay now bring your portfolio back you're going to open it up and on this side right here we are going to lay this down however far down you want to in here Because this is going to go around and snap on the other side. So I'm going to lay it down about right there. Try and get it right in between the straps. About right here. And then because I don't want to waste too much purple tape. I'm going to pull out my galaxy tape. Which I'm done using for right now. And I'm going to put it across here. I'm going to make little reinforcements all the way down through there. So that we make sure that this stays down pretty good. be plenty. Probably should have got it closer to the edge right here. We'll just put us a small piece right there at the edge. There we go. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your Velcros. Let's get my open pack. 
and I am going to pull out one side and I'm going to put it on the end right here of this one. Lay it right down right there on the inside. Then we're going to pull up our other side. We're going to close it up. And we're going to figure out how far I'm down. You want to give it a little bit of slack, but not too much slack. So we're going to take it down to about right there. And we'll get the other side. I'm going to attach it to this one. That way we can get them in the exact spot it needs to be in. And then lay it down wherever you want it to land at. So I'm going to lay it down right there. So now we've got one closure. Set our Velcro to the side. Set our Galaxy Tape to the side. Now we're going to need to do these two sides. And it is... Need to make sure of our measurements where I put my tape. It is just barely over 15 inches right there, like right at 15 and a quarter when you go down about halfway down the bottom. So we're going to basically want to make our straps go in between the one inch line and, and right here on the 16 inch line. So we're going to move this out of the way and we're going to make this part three deep. So I go just inside the 16 inch or the one inch. Get right on it and all the way to the 16. So you're making it 15 inches basically. It goes just a little bit over the 16 mark. Just to make sure that you have plenty to go all the way down. I'm probably going to do it at about 16 and a half. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. Make sure it's laying down. I'm going to overlap it a little over maybe about between a quarter and a half inch maybe and cut it and then one more time Again, about a quarter to a half inch overlap. Okay, that is part of the outside piece. I should have put this a little further back, just now thinking of that. Which I'm just going to do it separate because I don't know if I'm going to need one piece or two pieces. I think I'm going to need two pieces, but I'm going to cut one separate over here that's about the same length. And then one more down here that is about the same length. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to need one or two. Sorry about that. Okay, set that aside. Close up your X-Acto knife. Oh no, don't close it up yet because we need to lift this up and get it started. I need to start it from this side because you need to be aware of which side you have the tape on top because if you have the tape on top and you pull that side, it's probably just going to separate from the tape 
that it's attached to. If you pull it the bottom from where the piece is on bottom to start off with, you're probably going to not have that issue. Sorry, I'm shaking the table up again, but and the camera, but it can't be avoided. So lift this up and we'll flip it over. I actually just have it handy right here. Bring this back over here. And I'm going to need to lay this down right here. If you're overhanging at the top, that is fine. Now we're going to flip it over. Now this is where I thought I was probably going to need at least two pieces out. Because we're going to want to cover up all of this tape right here. Or as much of it as we can. So, this piece has already lifted some over here. I'm going to pull it up first. And bring this back over here. And get this right up against the edge of the portfolio. So that we are covering up all of the raw tape that we can. And yep, we're going to need that second piece, I do believe. And I'm going to have a fold in it. Oh, that's not good. So brain duct tape's not a good thing. Now, I may not be able to separate this. I may have to start all over again. Yep, it's going to tear. Okay, hold on a minute. I'm going to have to fix this. Okay, I am back. I went ahead and fixed the other side, and I went ahead and laid down the tape for the other half. So I'm show you exactly what I did. I am going to need it three wide, and I've actually overlapped this one wrong. So I am going to actually lift it up because it's a little bit too narrow on one end and too wide on the other. Let's hope we can get it lifted up because I am pretty much out of purple tape. I don't think I have enough for one more piece this long. Yep, we're going to get it up. Whoop, there goes my light. Almost in the floor. I caught it. Okay, lay this piece back down and try to get it more straight. There, that looks better. Okay. So we're going to take our three wide side and pull it up. Try to rip it off like a band-aid so I don't shake phone too much. Everybody say bless you, Daddy. I think y'all probably heard that. He's pretty loud. Ah, come on. Man, that was stuck down. That one I know you had to hear. Flip it over and lay it down. Okay. And then pull up this one. Uh, now you had to hear that one too. Bless you, Daddy. He has had some kind of hay fever, allergies, or something going on for months now. And the quack he goes to keeps telling him, oh, there's nothing wrong. Just sounds like a little congestion. I don't hear anything in your chest. It's probably just hay fever. Hay fever started in December. 
There he goes again. Somebody say bless you so he'll quit. I don't want to holler it so that he can hear it. It's, I'll probably bless, bless y'all's eardrums if I do. Okay, we're going to take this piece and we're going to lay it on the other piece and we're going to leave just a tiny lip sticking out. Just the smallest of lips. And when you get ready to, just commit and lay it down. So you try and do as few wrinkles as possible. This is going to be on the inside, so it's not going to be as important. And then you're going to fold this little tiny lip in. So just work your way down, folding it in. And I'm doing that just to give it a kind of clean edge and because it would be too hard to try and line these up perfectly. I don't know how clean the edge is going to be when that part right there did not fold down right, but most people won't notice it, but I will. Okay, I'm not going to worry about these edges right now. I'm going to pick this piece back up, make sure I'm doing the same side again. And I'm going to stick this piece down on this side. Get it pretty close to the edge for where those pieces overlap. But not all the way at the edge because I want to make sure there's no raw tape down there. And this piece I cut a little bit better so there's not really going to be much to fold over. But I do want to cut this raw edge off right here that is sticking out. So, do it as carefully as I can right there. And now I'm running to where it goes off the edge. Let me see if I can cut that off without... Got some of it off. I'll just flip it over and try and get it from this angle. I'm going to have to cut off some raw edge right here at the top. right there it's down here Let's see if we can get the rest of that raw edge off by cutting it like that yep got the rest of that raw edge off so now what you're going to do all velcro pieces are going to be on the same side so you got velcro right here and this side is velcroed as well so what you're going to do is get your velcro pieces and put one close to each end and then two closer to the middle and then the same thing for this side and just Again, lay it right on top of these without keeping it stuck to your finger. And you want to try to get those a little straighter than that. That way they ain't way off. When you get to close it. Mm. There we go. That's a little better. one down and finally one more and we are almost through with this thing finally I hope when I get done it's not going to be a two hour long video now fold it over 
find the place you want it to lay at, down at, giving it a little bit of slack, and commit to laying it down. Now the reason I have done this is because you can open it up and just reach inside and slide you a painting and whatever down in it. Or if you really need to open it up because it's like hard to get to, you can open up both sides, which Velcro hasn't completely stayed down yet, so be careful when you're opening it up. The first time you want it to stay closed for about 24 hours, the Velcro learns to stay there. And you can completely open it up and get inside of it. Because I have tried this before and completely closed off these ends. And it makes too tight a portfolio. And it makes it hard sometimes to get your diamond paintings in and out without putting a fold or crease in them, especially if they are double-sided tape. So there you go. You got two handles. You can carry it. Slide your stuff in it. And now you've got a pretty portfolio that's in galaxy and purple to carry wherever you want to go. That's the end of this video. I've got a couple of unboxings that are going to be coming up. I will see you guys later. And before I go, please remember to like this video. If you are not subscribed yet, please do subscribe. And tell all your friends about me so that we can hurry up and grow this channel. I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye!